Welcome back to another episode. It's great to see you. In today's tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to do this awesome light paint technique that Sam Calder does in this video, Running Over Buildings in Shanghai. Now, first things first, let's show you the project breakdown of what I've got and how I reproduced it. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a couple layers here, and that's because the transition happens in two pieces. Let me go ahead and duplicate the original clip and let's step through it so that you can see how it works. So if we go to this marker here that I placed where the effect starts, we can step through frame by frame and you'll see that there's actually a left to right wipe happening. The lines aren't drawn the way a line would be drawn by hand, it's just wiped across the screen. Now, that says to me it's a graduated mask. And so before we can jump in and graduate that mask, first we need to get some clips to work with. Because transitions like this have a part where the clips overlap each other, we don't have as much raw footage to work with as Sam did with the original clips that he filmed. So what we're going to do is just take a slice on either side of his transition and slow down the clips so that we have plenty of duration to work with. But like I said, if you have your own footage that you're trying to recreate this effect with, you don't need to do this step. This is just to get me a little extra footage that is the exact same as Sam's to work with. All right, so we are going to come over here and we're going to grab a graduated mask. Now there's lots of masks in Final Cut Pro. You can see if we hover, it gives you a preview of what the mask will do or what it'll look like. And hovering over the graduated mask looks correct except for it's left to right. So we're gonna drop it on our clip and then we're gonna reposition these two handles. Now the one handle is where the mask actually starts and the other is where it ends and there's a gradient in between. So we're going to drag it off to the left side since we're wiping from left to right. And then we're just gonna pick a good looking place in the clip, move forward a few frames here, and we're gonna set a keyframe, and then we're gonna jump ahead a few more frames, and we're gonna set another keyframe, and we're gonna drag it to the other side using the X coordinate on the center property. The target is the, is the end of the graduated mask. Now you'll notice if we go back at the original, it's not wiping the entire thing, it is just wiping the lights. Now there's a pretty common effect that's called keying. It's a way of isolating certain parts of your image. A color key is what they use for like a green screen or a blue screen, but we want to isolate lights and darks. So that's why we're going to use the luma keyer. Now if we drop the luma key onto our clip, you can see that we can play around with the handles on this mask and we can eat up the light area, or we can drag the other handle and eat up the dark area, leaving behind a little bit of the city skylights and these big bright uh, looks like neon lights running along the edge of the building, which is what we want. So now, if we step along here, you can see this looks really close to the effect that we want. So if we just play it back, you can see it looks pretty darn good. But like I said at the beginning, this effect happens in two parts. The first part is the paint across of the neon lines and then the second part is the painting in of the darker colors of the buildings and it kind of goes up through the shot into the lighter and you might think oh it's just wiping from top to bottom but if you look at the effect it's not the clean solid line of a wipe in fact it looks to me it's just another layer of a luma key so i'm going to hold option and i'm going to drag this clip up and we're gonna create a duplicate, and I'm going to trim the beginning of this new clip so that it's approximately where I want the new effect to start. Now I'm gonna come over here to my Luma here, and you can see as I play with these handles, I can bring back the image and I can eat up the lights or the darks in a particular direction. So in this case, if I'm dragging this particular handle, uh, if I pull it one way, it removes the lights, and leaves the darks, and if I pull it the other way, it brings the lights back, and then I grab this bottom handle, and we get the darks eaten up. And so now all we have to do is set a keyframe at the beginning of the clip, move forward a few frames that looks good to us, and then reposition the gradient handles here. Now you'll notice that you've got it right if you have a solid looking gradient. If you have these handles pulled over anywhere, sometimes they get stuck, sometimes they're a little fiddly. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have all the handles on the ends of the gradient. And then when we play back, 
you should get something that looks really close to the effect we're looking for. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, you can see in the original, he's toyed with uh, the chunkiness of how things come in. And I don't know the exact settings he's used, but we can come in here and we can go to the matte tools on our top layer Luma key. And we can play with some things like the fill in holes setting that'll make it so that the buildings come in in bigger chunks. Uh, the other is the edge distance. The edge distance is what it says. It's how much of the mask or the key eats up the colors that are a certain distance uh, from the color on the gradient. So I'm just playing with some settings here to get something that I think looks pretty good. And I think overall I like the chunkiness of how it comes in. I like having the holes filled in so it's sort of like a big paint fill flooding across the screen. I think it has a really nice effect. All right, if you wanna see me reproduce other cool effects by your favorite YouTubers, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a couple more Sam Colder effects in upcoming videos. If you want to see other YouTubers, you want to know how they did their titles or their edits, please tag them in the comments below and I will be happy to attempt to reproduce the effects that you see in their videos and show you how to do the same thing. And of course, as always, I appreciate you. Thank you for your support and we'll catch you on the next one.